Donate money. Give now. Support our cause. These are scary words. You get a little feeling of dread in your stomach. You know, who would think it is okay to ask me to donate money? Here. Now. I mean, isn't there like a better time for this? Isn't there a better place? Isn't there someone with more resources than me? Well, there isn't. And in fact, this is the best time, and you are the best person. Let me explain why. The United States is the second most philanthropic nation in the world. Oh, that's pretty good. Until you take a look at the top scoring nation on the World Giving Index, which is Myanmar. Myanmar scores top in the world on the World Giving Index, and it also scores top in the world for donating money, which is one of the three categories in the World Giving Index. The United States falls at 12th. Well, you're probably thinking, you know, 12th is like 196 countries in the world. 12th still puts us at 90th percentile. That's still pretty good, right? Well, let's, let's look again at Myanmar compared to the United States. It's about a twelfth of the size. The average household income in the United States is $53,000 a year. The average household income in Myanmar is $220 a year. Why is that? Why is it that a country that makes so much less gives so much more often. It's culture. It's a culture of philanthropy. Why else would someone who makes less than one dollar a day give some of that away if it wasn't fundamentally part of their culture to give some of that back? And that's exactly what we need to do here. We need to change the culture of philanthropy. With a future of decreased state and federal funding, philanthropy is the only future. Donate is a dirty word, and it shouldn't be. Philanthropy is great, and the people that make an impact on the world through their philanthropy are incredible. You can't walk from here, about a quarter of the mile that way, to the Memorial Union without looking on or stepping on something that was impacted by philanthropy. We wouldn't even be here in the Mondavi Center if it wasn't for philanthropy. We would be doing this conference here. And I don't know how well that would work. <laughs> Bill Clinton once said, we live in an interdependent world. Every time you cut off somebody else's opportunities, you shrink your own horizons. We are given so many opportunities to give back. And, we, we, and when we choose not to, for excuses like, I don't have enough money, well, remember Myanmar, you actually have plenty of money. When we choose not to give, we are cutting off somebody else's opportunities, and therefore, we're limiting our own impact on the world. Every time we say no, we are putting ourselves in a box, isolating ourselves from the rest of the world, and hurting our own chances for growth and progress. So, I implore you, philanthropy is about passion. I'm not here to tell you who to donate to or how much to donate. I'm here to tell you that you should, that you have to, that we all have to. Let your passion lead to an impact, and that impact will change the world. So find your passion, 
not something I care about, not something the person sitting next to you cares about, but something that you truly believe in and change the culture of philanthropy. Thank you.